This year's International Women's Day theme is Choose to Challenge. And I thought it would be interesting to provide you with few facts that shall help you challenge better. Hi, I am Prashant Uttekar, a learning enthusiast, and you are listening to the Relearning Podcast. International Women's Day is on 8th of March, so here's my attempt to motivate you through these facts to take a positive action and challenge the status quo. These facts are published by credible sources such as United Nations and so on. So here we go. Around 132 million girls are out there who are out of school across the globe. In the entire spectrum of illiterate population, that women account to two-thirds of this figure. Did you know that educated mothers are more than twice as likely to send their kids to school? And an extra year of education can help a girl earn 15-20% to more as an adult. Globally, one out of five girls is married or is in union before reaching the age 18. During pandemic, there was a rise in underage girl marriage, especially in India, and globally around 12 million underage girls are being married every year. Female infanticide, that is a deliberate killing of female child, is still a cause of concern even in 2021, especially in China, India and Pakistan. Domestic violence is still not a crime in more than 20 countries. Around 5,000 women and girls are killed every year for perceived dishonor to their family. Women make 20% less money than men for a similar job. And if the current situation does not change, this pay gap shall remain until 2059. In comparison to last 10 to 15 years, these figures have comparatively been better. However, there's a still long way to go. Hope this motivates you to take a positive action or at least do something about it. Do plan or attend an International Women's Day event, uh, probably support a non-profit and of course spend the quality time with your loved ones. You know, on a personal note, I'm thankful and grateful to the women in my life. My courageous and powerful mother, my rational, strong and loving wife, my free-spirited mother-in-law, utmost care by my sister-in-law and the ever-pouring unconditional love by my daughter. Hope you take an appropriate action this Women's Day and choose to challenge and spend those special moments, few moments to thank the women in your life. Until next time, this is Prashant Uttekar. Keep relearning. Bye.